bunch of different ways to get to know your professors. The easiest way is to just start small, attend office hours, um, or raise your hand in class and just kind of get the professor to know your name. Um, and you can even use extra office hours time if you're the only one there to just kind of ask the professor how was your day and maybe eventually you'll start talking about your day you'll find things in common and conversations can just go from there you can also just you know say in an email or say at the end of class like hey i just wanted to introduce myself so all of these small steps just to kind of get the professor used to the fact that you're in their class and that you're interested in getting to know them better and if you are interested in taking things one step further because i will never cease to extol the how valuable it is to get to know faculty. Um, but if you're interested in taking it one step further, Brandeis offers the Take Your Professor to Lunch Week. Every single semester, they offer um, vouchers to students to take individual professors out to lunch at any of the dining halls on campus. And that includes the Faculty Club, which is absolutely excellent food. Um, and you just get time one-on-one, -on -one, or you could even go with your friends um, or with a group with the professor, and you just get to talk about really anything that you want, even if it's course material. Um, and if you're nervous, you know, I would definitely advise going with friends because it's always easier to talk when somebody else is there to pick up the awkwardness if it gets that way. The way that I approached transitioning into my sophomore year from freshman year was to kind of look back on what I'd done freshman year and whether I wanted to continue those things, whether it was extracurriculars or academics or friendships, whether I wanted to bring those into my sophomore year. I, I tried so many things going into freshman year. I'd really opened up and I'd really tried a bunch of different clubs, but towards the end of freshman year I'd found my niche and I knew that I was interested in the sciences. I knew that there were a couple of clubs that I was really interested in sticking with um, and I started to make decisions about how much further I wanted to take those commitments, whether I wanted to get more involved in certain clubs, less involved in certain clubs. And um, academically, I, I used freshman year very well to explore other classes, and I sort of narrowed down. You know, I tried an anthropology class and realized it wasn't for me. I tried a language class and realized it wasn't for me. So going into sophomore year, I had a much more refined focus of the things that I wanted. Um, and then that first semester, I felt much more focused because I had a goal uh, and I was able to carry that through the year.